Thank you, dear Minister. Thank you for the invitation, uh, respected Excellencies, dear Ambassadors, dear colleague Gruby. Uh, today we mark the day when, in 1949, the North Atlantic Treaty was signed and NATO was officially formed 73 years later. NATO is the most powerful political, security, and military alliance. Last year, North Macedonia marked the 30th anniversary of its independence. The celebration had a special meaning because we celebrated this important jubilee as a fully-fledged 30th member of NATO. Membership in the North Atlantic Alliance is the achievement of one of our most important strategic goals through which we continuously provide security, stability, and security for the country and its citizens. For us, the membership in NATO has also one special, special motive as we had to make one of the hardest and one of the biggest decisions a country had to make in the world of uh, history, in the history of the world, and this is to change the name of the country. So we did it and we became members of NATO. Our March 27th, on March 27, 2020, North Macedonia became a member of the NATO alliance as guaranteed to its sovereignty and territorial integrity as well as investment to the security and stability in the region and has since been part of the world's most powerful alliance rooted in the highest democratic values. Being a NATO member, state is enormous privilege and responsibility. Today we find ourselves living in a very challenging time of deteriorating security and geopolitical situation on the European continent caused by the Russian military aggression in Ukraine. I'll take this opportunity and affirm our position. We stand strong in our condemn of Russia's illegal and illegitimate invasion on Ukraine. And we admire the bravery of the Ukrainian people with which they are defending their country, their sovereignty and territorial integrity. We fully support the fundamental principles that our countries have the right to choose their own path, their foreign policy priorities, and of course, security arrangements. Allies responded decisively to the war in Ukraine by imposing unprecedented sanctions on Russia, supported Ukraine with different kinds of aid, and made major reinforcement of NATO's deterrence and defense posture, particularly on the eastern flank of the alliance. North Macedonia has appropriately joined these efforts and is fully aligned with the EU's common foreign and security policy and with the substantial package of sanctions against Russia. We will continue to do so in the future as well. We are not members of the EU, but we share the same values and principles as the country's EU members. We also remain vigilant in countering Russia disinformation as we are witnessing deteriorating of deterioration of political stability and rise of nationalist and populist narratives, which are a real threat to the democratic processes in Europe, but especially in the Western Balkans. Economic uncertainty and growing crisis are further amplifying the vulnerability of the region. The absence of credible European and Euro-Atlantic perspective for Western Balkans has multiple negative tendencies. The status quo creates a favorable environment for third party, malevolent interference, thus increasing uncertainties in the region and creating dilemmas that damage citizens' trust in the European Union. We strongly believe that it is necessary for North Macedonia and all the countries of the Western Balkans to have a crystal clear Euro-Atlantic and European Union perspective. Leaving a geostrategic gap in our part of Europe is not an option. We need predictable, credible, enhanced and accelerated European Union integration processes. Today, we reaffirm our unity, cohesion and solidarity and we proudly stand side by the side with our NATO allies. We share the same values. We are NATO. Thank you.